Hi friends, welcome to Aerotech Solutions. So in the previous session, we discussed about timers and how to generate time delay by using timers. There are two standard timers from 8051, T0 and T1. But here, the timers you can use for delay generation as well as counters also. Okay, the same names you can use for counters also. 8051, which is supporting two counters with the same names, T0 and T1. Now, so I just want to explain the, the concept behind these counters. So most of the cases, the timers, how what they are doing? So based on the internal source, like internal source means again, it is an oscillator. So the clock cycles, whatever generated by oscillator, produced by oscillator, the timers are counting 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And by counting each pulse, which is giving fixed time period, which is 1.0852 microsecond according to the oscillator frequency if you are if you are working with any different frequencies like 12 megahertz or 24 megahertz the delay is different okay so now whenever you are trying to work with counters so it's very important to understand how counters are working and what is the what is the count you or how many pulses you can count by using counters the name itself you are writing timer or counter which means either timer or counter, not both at a time. Okay, so you need to use the same names T0 and T1 for counters purpose also. And the same registers again, Tmod, Tcon. So these two registers are helping us for choosing the timers in different modes and choosing the counters in different modes. Okay. But the one difference with counters is, it's very clear, the counters are used for counting external pulses. And where you need to provide these external pulses across T0 and T1 pins. So these two are the alternate functionalities of P3.4 and P3.5 P3 pins from the pin diagram. Okay. So the T0 and T1 is the alternate functionality of pins P3.4 and P3.5 and pin numbers 14 and 15. Now here you need to provide your external pulses whenever you are dealing with counters okay so basically the counters are used to count external pulses and these external pulses as per applications you have a different choices maybe the pulses from sensors pulses from any digital input okay so pulses may be from simple buttons or pulses from any pulse generator so this according to your application you may have different options for your external pulses and these external pulses if you are dealing with counter zero make sure you need to provide pulses across t0 pin and you're dealing with the counter one then provide your external pulses across t1 for each one high to low pulse your registers are changing the value so basically your tl0 is related to counter zero and tl1 which will maintain counter one tl1 register which allows to increment the count for each one external pulse your registers are keep on changing okay if suppose i am giving one external pulse across counter zero the tl0 register is incremented by one so by default anyway this register is zero zero and if you are giving one high to low pulse across timer zero pin which is pin number 14 then it will become zero one for each one high to low pulse the register value keep on changing suppose which is reaching maximum ff then your higher byte is incremented by one which is th0 so whenever it it will complete the complete value which is 255 0 to 255 which is incremented by one the same thing we can apply for counter one also the counter one registers are tl1 and th1 so tl1 keep on changing for each one pulse 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, up to FF, FF. Whenever counter reaches maximum value 255 and your higher byte is incremented by 1. Again, it is also default 0, 0 and which is incremented by 1. So this is a simple concept be behind these counters. And I'll write one sample program and how to activate your counters. So before proceeding to program for counters, again, you have to take care of your SFR registers related to timers and counters, Tmod and Tcon. So once you have the fixed value for Tmod register, 
finally t mod register is the only option for us to choose the timer or counter in different modes okay so i'll write one sample program to count 10 pulses 10 pulses one embedded c program So anyway, I'll write one a sample program here. So your embedded C begins with hash include reg51.h. So this is a standard header file you are using for all 51 families, irrespective of manufacturer. If you are working with Philips or Motorola or Atmel, you can deal with any. So once you are including this reg51.h, the program allows to access all SFR register names without any declaration okay so now i'll take it main and the first step as per in previous session discussion you need to decide which counter or which timer you are looking so the t mod register value i'm taking for 0x20 so what it means what you need to understand according to this value your counter 1 is selected in mode 2. Suppose if the value is 0 to timer 0 in mode, sorry, counter 0 in mode 2. Okay. So the T mod register value finally deciding that either you are using timer or counter and which mode. Okay. Once you are taking this mode, the maximum capacity is 255 because it is a 8 bit mode. By using this mode, you can count maximum 0 to 255 pulses. It may be timer or it may be counter, okay? Because the mode 2 is 8 bit, okay? So once you fix this value, the next step is the value of TL1, you need to take it. And this default value is 00 for TL1 register. And this is default value of TL1. And this TL1 value, which is not changing, whenever I give external pulse from outside, then only your register value is incremented by one. And the third step is start timer. So how to make it start by using TR1 bit. So here it is very important for either timer or counter, you have to take care of TCON register bits, TF1 and TR1 or TF0 or TR0. So with respect to selection okay once you are dealing with counter one take care of this tr1 bit from tcon register you need to make it one otherwise even though you are giving any external pulses your counter doesn't take care of these pulses okay so it should be one compulsory in the program now so for taking this value into temporary variable like i am taking one variable unsigned cat so once you start counter, then if I provide any external pulse across 15th pin from the pin diagram, the register value is increments. Okay. So this V1 value I'm taking V1 variable I'm assigning with the TL1 register. If there, if there is no external pulse, TL1 remains zero. If any one external pulse, your V1 is incremented by one. So this continue, I'll continue because I'm not looking for 256 pulses because as per mode 2 the maximum count is 255 now i am looking for only 10 pulses so that i'll write the condition here if v1 is greater than 10 then i'll stop timer sorry i'll stop counter so this is a simple program for counting 10 pulses by using counter 1 so in mode in different modes so you can choose different modes there is no issue because in all modes which is it is a very list simple counting process to count your 10 pulses from microcontroller thanks thanks for watching